Hey friends, this is Blogovis from EMP and in today's clip from my new course SFS Colorful Triads, we'll look at how we can improvise using the string fragment system for pentatonic scales in combination with chromatic approach notes. If you want some more SFS training, you can use the link below to get my free course called SFS Fretboard Secrets. So let's get started. The string fragment system allows us to play pentatonic scales and blues scales all over the fretboard without memorizing the classic boring box shapes. And even though you can practice the system to actually cover every position and every last fingering possibility on the fretboard, as we do in the SFS pentatonics course, you don't have to. Even someone who has never played pentatonic scales before can easily travel around the fretboard and improvise using less notes. Today, for example, we'll use just three string fragments. Obviously, as we always do with SFS, you need to make a small adjustment when you do this based on strings 4 and 3. I'll remind you that because of the guitar's tuning, whenever you use a movable shape of any kind, the top two strings need to be shifted one fret up compared to the lower four strings. That's why the system of string 4 looks like this. And the system of string 3 looks like this. Now, how do we apply chromatic approach notes to these pentatonic SFS fingerings? One option would be to target every note of the scale with chromatic approach notes, like we do with triads. That's certainly a possibility, but be careful. Because there are secondary notes in a pentatonic scale, which sometimes sound weird if you land on them. It depends on the song. If you want to be safe, then you can see the minor triad as the skeleton inside the pentatonic scale and only target those notes. So essentially you would be mixing the pure pentatonic scale with what we've already been doing with triads. But that's not the option I want us to focus on in this lesson. I just wanted to mention that. There's another option which is extremely easy and sounds very nice and it's safe to use in almost all settings. Another thing you can do is to fill in the gap on every string fragment with chromatic notes. So this becomes this. Let me do that on every string. Your job for this lesson is to put on any of the backing tracks that are included in the lesson page and improvise through all these SFS options. Go through all the root notes in A minor and play three string fragments of the pentatonic scale, plus mix in chromatic approach notes, filling the gap on each string fragment. Take your time, try to emphasize the main notes and not the chromatics, and experiment until you get used to these new colors. Even though we are using a simple system of three string fragments, the combination of the mobility of SFS and the use of chromatic approach creates a lot of possibilities for creative playing. You'll find a variety of backing tracks to try this on the lesson page, so have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey guys, this video was from my new course SFS Colorful Triads. If you're a subscriber in the EMP Practice Partner subscription, then you already have early access to all the available lessons in this course. But if you're not a subscriber, then I invite you to get my free mini course called SFS Fretboard Secrets, in which you'll learn cool new ways to jump around the fretboard and improve your guitar improvisation skills. There should be a link for it somewhere below this video. Thanks for watching. This is Progobis from EMP, and as I always say, enjoy your practice and be effective.